Back in 1894, we were putting electricity in homes and the homes were catching on fire. Now fast forward 130 years, we have buyers associated with cell phones, e-bikes, electric vehicles. So our research is helping to mitigate the risk associated with those buyers. The scope of what we do is safety science research around sustainability, health, and digital safety. So let's take lithium-ion battery fires, for example. ESRI, our Electrochemical Safety Research Institute, is at the forefront of a lithium-ion battery type fire. Lithium-ion batteries have an extremely high energy density and a lot of advantages, which is why they're used in so many applications. But along with that comes their high propensity to experience a fire and thermal runaway. And so what we have been doing is understanding and characterizing fire and thermal runaway with lithium ion batteries, but also making sure we can develop methods to mitigate the propagation of this, and finally to look at fire suppression with respect to this particular battery chemistry. The runaway can propagate from a single cell through an entire pack, resulting in a lot of energy release. All of the chemical energy that is in the cell can be released in the form of heat, and the gases that are generated are flammable and combustible. Uh, that can result in rupture, fire, or explosion of an enclosure, presenting a lot of hazards to both people and infrastructure. Water has been used as suppressant against the lithium and battery fire because of its abundance and excellent cooling capability. On the other hand, uh, aerosol can put out gas phase combustion quickly. So we also found that the water could stop some runaway of lithium ion battery modules uh, without ingress through the three inch diameter hole on top cover. So if water cannot access the cells, uh, it results in the complete loss of the battery module. If the suppressant is expanded quickly, then we find that the batteries reignite. If we have the hole on the top cover of the module and also have uh, the coolant present around the cells to cool it down completely, then we can actually put out the entire fire. The data acquired from the test can be used to enhance the safety of the first responders and readiness of the suppression systems. Most recently, we've been talking to the United States Health Science Committee on the safety of electric vehicle batteries for first responders and firefighters. Most of the time, the batteries are on the underside of the vehicle, below the passenger seats. And one of the things that they may have to do is to actually roll over the vehicle, pierce through the battery container, and get to the cells to put out the battery fire. Or they could actually design something, which is a port that is closer to the charging port that can allow the ingress of water from outside into the battery compartment in order to put out the fire. Our collaborations with Stress Engineering started in 2016 or so. One of the things is we use their uh, abuse and uh, off-nominal test facilities, which are capable of doing explosive type testing. In the context of shipping batteries uh, in aircraft, there's a concern of the off gases that are generated during thermal runaway filling a cargo hold and becoming an explosion hazard. So our work involves the development of a series of tests that are designed to assess the performance of the packaging in the context of minimizing explosion hazards. What we have found through the process of testing several dozen packages uh, is that some packages exhibit very dangerous behavior even at low states of charge. With the volume of cells that we're producing today, it's very difficult for us to ensure that every cell manufacturer does not have any kind of internal defect. By addressing it from the packaging perspective, we're able to ensure the safety of these packages in transit worldwide. The exponential increase in usage for lithium-ion batteries have become a growing concern about end-of-life uh, management and negative effect globally in our ecosystems. Therefore, ESRI initiate a collaborative research effort with Rice University. 
uh, to investigate and to study the recycling methodologies to recover a critical metals in those batteries. ESRI is also involved in public safety campaigns and initiatives such as be nice to your advice and know your batteries to proactively bring the public awareness for the importance of recycling batteries through knowledge sharing and education. We democratize ingenuity, that the information is available to accelerate innovation, to help scale capabilities across multiple areas. We're partnering with academia, governments, industry, all coming together toward making the world safer. <laughs>